Guys, how are we doing today? So today we have a little maintenance Monday. So this is a 2011 Cat 304D. Uh, we are going to change the oil on it, oil filter. This thing takes about a gallon and a half of oil. So a pretty small oil tank. Let's dive right into her. All right, guys, let's dive right in. This is a 16 millimeter bolt. Down here, there's four of them. Uh, just to like hold on there, the cover plate for this sucker. We'll loosen this guy up. Get this cover plate out of the way here. So this cover plate on this machine is actually super handy. So you can just undo this cover plate and she comes right off of there. Boom. Let's get her. All right. Let's start draining the oil on here. This machine has a quick uh, lube on it. So it's actually super easy. It's, it's one of the no tool devices. So all you gotta do is flip like the ball valve and it starts draining the oil. I'll show you. All right, so here is that ball valve and you can see it just goes on the actual, uh, you know, drain plug there. And then it makes it super easy to drain the oil out of here. So it's kind of a no tool uh, oil change. The only hang up with it is it takes forever to drain all the oil out of here. This is like a gallon and a half of oil, which really isn't that much, but it takes quite a while for it to drain out. So as that sucker is getting ready to drain, or as it's draining, let's go ahead and take this uh, oil filter off from up here. This one's actually super easy to get to uh, like a lot of times on your excavators and stuff all your oil change maintenance items are really really easy to get to just because you know maintenance is what keeps these guys running forever All right, guys, so I am a big fan of measuring exactly like how much oil we have. So this takes exactly a gallon and a half of oil. So we got a gallon and then uh, two quarts pretty much. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this oil here and fill it up. You can tell on here it says uh, one quart is to the top of this thing. So I'm gonna fill that sucker up right here. Boom, so that's a quart, set it down. I got another one here. So this is also a quart. So I'm gonna set it to right here. And then what I do from here is I like to fill up that oil filter right here with this that actually came out of the of the court. All right, so we just pre-filled this filter up a little bit. We'll go ahead and slide her right into place here. 
get her in there. So as you can tell, Mitsubishi. So this, this little motor in this 304D is actually a Mitsubishi motor made in Japan. Perfect. All right, here we go. So she's just finishing up drip in there. So that's as easy as that. So now this valve is actually totally shut off. This is how you open it. See if I can do this with one finger here. Come this way with it. Boom. To open up that valve, you see there's a little, little left in there. But easy as that to close that valve off. So it's really just makes it a lot quicker for when you're doing maintenance stuff like this. All right, so we got our filter on, got that drain plug closed up. Let's go ahead and fill her up with oil. guys there you have it there's the oil change on the 304 d so as you can tell this is a pretty easy oil change uh, as far as that goes lots of room for the filter and everything and with that uh, quick lube on the bottom of it that drain plug with the ball valve on it really makes it easy so here we go she's ready to go for another couple hundred hours all right guys there we have it so there's the oil change on the machine over there um so what kind of oil am i running i like to run the full synthetic uh dello 400 le i think it's a a pretty good oil i've kind of always uh stuck to running uh the dello 400 i had a cap mechanic tell me to always run the synthetic stuff i that is my main way to make money is with those equipment. So they have to be up and running and anything that I can do to help expand the life of that machine, I'm going to do. So that's the reason why I run the synthetic uh, oil in there. Um, the other thing, the other life hack about that uh, Dello 400, the synthetic stuff, it is, so if you go to AutoZone, it's like $28 for a gallon of that and if you go to Walmart, it's $18. So that's because it takes three gallons. Um, and so essentially we saved ourselves 
$30 just by getting oil at Walmart instead of like AutoZone or Napa or somewhere like that. So there's a little life hack for you. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, that's just part of running equipment is definitely maintaining equipment. All right, thanks for watching the video and we'll see you on the next one.